Welcome to Towpath Walk, episode 3 in my well-being series. Looking to improve mental health and well-being? To relieve the stresses of everyday life and any struggles you may be dealing with? Then may I suggest a therapeutic walk along the corridors of the inland waterways. A tough deal. People say time, time, time. I don't know about time. I don't know if that's the answer. Thank you. I never gave it a second thought. I turned left. Do you do it? When you go somewhere new, do you just automatically turn left? Or do you go right? Whetstone Lane Lock. How nice this is. Unbalanced beams. Hefty. Look at this. Huh. And this, the diamond shaped bricks, they trigger a memory. For the street where I live, the cobbled street I used to live back in Radford in Nottingham. Oh dear, back in the 1960s and 70s. A lot of blue brick about back then. A lot of it's lost now. But not here on the canals. That's why it's so important to maintain our beautiful, our incredible, our birthright, our heritage. Incredible. Amazing. Words escape me. I'd love to bring my boat through here. It's got to be done one day. Hey, look, I'm, I'm just a blue collar guy. I think the word is that I, there are just, there aren't enough adjectives in a sentence to describe how I'm feeling. It's like an old house. It's like something that you remember from the past. Well, that's going to be the briefest of towpath walks. Whetstone Lock, Bridge 99, look at that, fantastic. So they say that today is going to be the hottest day of the year. So far we're going to hit temperatures of 27 degrees and as it's only 5 o'clock in the morning it's quite cool, it's only about 14 right now. So there's no getting away from it. I am tired, but these walks that I do in the morning after a night shift, the back end of a night shift, really do help and gets the blood flowing and helps me focus because it's about an hour's drive home from here. Wow. Ooh. And these walks are worth it alone just for the smell of that pollen. Five o'clock in the morning. And it's like you can hear a pin drop. Well, there is background noise, but if you know what I mean. Like where daylight begins for a new day in that golden hour. 
that's why it's so important to do what I do sometimes in the morning and very often in the evening the golden hour the best time of the day it's where the sun rises and reaches its height and then it's when the sun begins its descent into the horizon the golden hour it happens twice a day if you're missing it you're missing out on so much again there are not enough adjectives to describe it and you can say and i know you're going to say it is well what about when it's dull it's overcast and it's raining seek it out wherever you can find it all right there are ways of measuring when the sun comes up and when the sun goes down it's that simple we all do it we all make excuses for not doing stuff this is my first time here <laughs> I'm in the vicinity of Kilby, so I know where the canal is in relation to the railway. For one of the locations of where I work, it's near the Wistow Rural Centre. So if I was to keep walking that away, I'd end up at Kilby Bridge, and then eventually at Wistow, and back in the compound. <laughs> I don't even need to use the van or the car. It's easy to work it out that if I got dropped off, I could find my way home, no problem. <laughs> Look, I'm thinking about it now, but this is impromptu, so I've got to get home. Duns Lock, number 34, on the wide section of the Grand Union Canal. Yeah, the Grand Union Canal. And with all that said, what's it all about? It's about well-being, birdsong, the fresh air, the fresh air. And this, just to be able to stand here and look down, look around see life from a different perspective look around introduce yourself to something greater introduce yourself to something greater than you yeah even this lock gear is different to some of the canals slightly different that's what i mean now look there look at that expression that's the look of somebody that's been reinvigorated from this walk wow there's that wow again that was interesting and another canal walk I wasn't expecting to be doing this morning. So make no mistakes, I didn't go looking for this too far. I didn't drive miles to get to here. It was literally on the doorstep of the place where I work. So it's just a chance to unwind. Now you might pull up a petrol station. Oh, there's that at. I picked it up and hung it up on there. Or, or do whatever it is or whatever it takes for you to unwind on your journey home. But this is remarkable. I stopped at Watford Services and the Grand Union Canal runs at the back of there too. So I even accessed from there, it's crazy. These green corridors, these open spaces, they're everywhere. Seize the opportunity wherever you can. And I encourage you to share your experiences with others. We talk about well-being more now. We talk about our mental health, our current state of health. It's important that we do. Seems to be no expense spared on the old Grand Union. I mean, look at all this ironmongery. It's incredible. Well, proper gate that works. It doesn't creak. <laughs> For stonework as well, look. Oh, and I didn't tell you where I am. So this is um, Glen Parver. This is in Leicester, near Blaby, Kilby, Wistow. Hey, if you like what I'm doing here, please consider hitting the notification bell for future videos as they land on my channel. This series is ongoing. The views expressed in them are my own. For more professional help or guidance on mental health and well-being, check out the links in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again in my next video.